The lady had a question on the lumber industry. Bruce, is that something that you might be willing to try to feel? <coughs> Give it my best shot. I spent my life in the timber industry. I don't know what it was. What was your question? Who, well, you know, they had recommended that
actually uh, loading the box cars. I wasn't the only guy doing that. You were doing it too. Yeah, yeah. I couldn't get out he, of town. He the best guys. Yeah, I mean, he got my brother and he figured it runs if he was stupid enough to do it. I had to be. <laughs> <laughs> because those bags weighed 300 pounds. And you'd be one person in the, in the top of the box car rolling the thing back to the end of the box car and then coming back and getting you could get, you could actually get two levels up there. I mean, yeah, it, 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 no. the, the car was full. This was a very thrifty community. There was nothing wasted. The car was full. And if you slipped down in between the bags, it was difficult to get out. So you quite never have that happen.
As children, we used to go, the old fair building, the building that burned down, had balconies. And we'd go on the balconies and look down on the people. And you take a Saturday night at the fair back then, it was amazing. It was absolutely amazing. They had a huge dance floor, and they, that was a big band era. They always had the Del Courtney band from Oakland, and the Rob Rawson band. They were a big band era. And they played beautiful music. But let me tell you, we used to sit down and look down at these people. All the men coming into the dance floor with the ladies all wore suits and ties. There wasn't one person on that dance floor that was not well dressed. Because I'm talking about 1941, 42, 40, but that's what they did those days. And that was a lot of fun. And, and they, you know, all they had was a Ferris wheel. The Ferris wheel was with the, with the, with the restroom closed down in the corner there, first street in the whole bar. And that's about it. But it was fun, right? One more, one yeah. more question. Wait, let, me, let me say one thing. One thing that I just, in listening to everybody here talking, uh, I think I learned my public service or my or that kind of giving back type stuff from my dad because he was a member of the volunteer fire department in this town. And this town didn't have a full-time fire department, you know, it was all volunteers. And it was interesting every time the siren went off to see what happened because everybody went nuts. It was really something and it became a, a, a very important part of the fabric of the community. Was the, uh, I think I paid a dollar. We got paid a dollar for a small fire and two dollars for a big fire. And, and uh, what they did with the money is they would pool all the money and then they'd throw a party for the firemen at the uh, end of the year. So that was, that was their pay for being a volunteer fireman. My question has to do with the town and the roads. Uh, getting out to the Cooley Ranch, would you go up Cherry Creek? Or was that a main drag? Or I can remember driving 101 was downtown. I can remember doing that, and I just wanted to know what your thoughts about how the road and roads have changed in town. Well, a big change for me was is that I used to hunt out at the Dawson Ranch, which was owned by uh, the McLaughlins, who had the Hot Springs Ranch, and we would uh, patrol the, the area for poachers. And of course, that part of the of that you're talking about the road, it is no more because you go on the Gordy Creek and it stops right there. That property that I used to hunt on is actually underwater. So you know that's that's part of what happened here too, is they put in the Sonoma Dam and it's uh, changed. Thank you. Add, add to that Hot Springs Road left of the fire station has now got another name. It doesn't become Hot Springs Road now. Shady Lane. Foothill. But it used to start right there across the line at the fire station. And it went out to an end of the, the end of the county road it was at, at our headquarters on the ranch. And there were 11 gates you had to get out and open. I remember the first one I began to get to that point. My sister and I would fight over who was going to open the gate. Then we fought over who was not going to get out. <laughs> Yeah. 